Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be showing you an Easter card using the Best Bunny Bundle. This bundle can be found in our annual catalogue and I quite like this bundle but I've never had a chance to use it so today's the day I'll be using this bundle. Super cute and I'm also using the Fable Friends stamp set. This can be found in our occasions catalogue. I'll be using a greeting from that and that's this uh, sentiment right here, Easter greetings. I quite like this stamp set as you're aware but I'm going to combine the two together and I think they're a wonderful sets. So um, I'm going to do a fun technique as well today. I'm going to be using my lovely makeup brushes which look to me exactly the same as the picket fence brushes. These are makeup brushes you can find at Kmart um, and I'll show you the packet that they came in. Um, they come in a box like this if you go to your local Kmart store you can find them for $12. They are very um, economic. Um, if you want to buy a packet of 10 of these of various sizes you're looking at $90 here in Australia so um, yeah that's my tip to you. It's a good um, a good find I think and they're lovely and soft and they're easy to clean with a microfiber cloth that is all you need and you can use one brush between many many colors so I quite love this um, this brush so before we do anything what we're going to do is I'm going to take out the Stamparatus and um, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, put all of my stamps um, together and um, how does this go like this yeah like that okay so what I do is I made a template so I got a piece of cardstock I punched that out with this the rabbit builder punch there and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to align my stamps within this template and this template lives with my stamp set. So basically when I stamp, I can do that all in the one hit and it's easy to stamp afterwards, uh, punch it out. So that's all I'm doing, I'm just putting them all on here. Is I am going to bring in a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. We actually have a thick Whisper White uh, base and I'm just going to burnish the score line. I've got to find my, where is my bone folder? Just bear with me for a sec. Oh there it is, right in front of me, so blind. Okay, so we're going to have a Whisper White piece of cardstock there. We're also going to have another piece of Whisper White that will layer over the top and we're going to ink blend that with our brushes. And then I've got a piece of um, Granny Apple Green cardstock and some black um, cardstock there. So what we'll do 
now is we are going to do some ink blending. So I'm going to bring out my Ranger craft sheet. I love that it's non-stick, so I'm just going to bring that out. You store it rolled up or you can store it flat, whatever you wish. But not folded because it will mark it, but, you know, it's up to you. Alrighty. All right, I'll grab now my piece of cardstock. And the colours I'll be using today are Calypso Coral, Grapefruit Grove, Mango Melody, and I may or may not use Daffodil Delight. So I've got it there as an option. So I'm going to start off with the lightest colour of Mango Melody. going to bring my um, sheet there with the punch out of the bunny and I've got a couple of carrots there just for good measure but I think we'll just use the one and I'm bringing out my lovely um, watercolour pencils I love them so I'm going to get colours that match very closely to the Stampin' Up! colours just so you know so to start off with, I'm going to colour in that bunny. So I'm going to do the bunny, <clears throat> excuse me, in um, I think warm greys.
to the carrots so cute all right so I'll leave him off to the side to dry and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back this um, piece here and I'm going to rub some embossing buddy all over this um, cardstock And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back my carrot image and I'm going to use Versamark um, and I'm going to stamp the carrot all over the background. is I'm going to use a smaller brush to just blend some colour. So I'm going to use this smaller brush here to blend some blue in the background there. And I'm going to bring back my craft sheet. I like using my craft sheet. You can use a piece of paper, whatever you want, whatever makes you comfortable. Um, yeah, I just like doing it this way because I like it, but you can do it any way you like. So what I'll do is I'll get my Balmy Blue ink and I'm going to get my smaller brush and the smaller brushes allow you to blend in smaller areas. So I'm just doing a small area here and I'm blending that out there. Just a light colour so it just gives you more control and as you can see here it just blended really nice and seamless. I love the way that looks. I should have done that with the grass as well. So I'll clean this off. See, that's the beauty of these brushes. You just clean them with your microfiber cloth. 
and grab, you know, your ink pad, whatever. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend some green, uh, granny apple green, and just there, just blend that out. And it's good to have the smaller brush because you have more control. You can even even you can even use a smaller brush than this and get a more targeted blending if you want to. There we go. I think that looks really cute. I quite like that. So pop this all away. So clean that. See, and it's all done, all clean. Alrighty. So I'll put my bunny on here. And I'll See, you've now made it smaller by doing that. How cool is that? So, I'll bring this up to the card and we'll see how that works out. Put that away. Because I really love that stitched um, sort of um, detail. Sorry. Bit lost for words there. So I can make it go down a little bit more. And I think that looks fantastic there. So I'm just going to grab my glue. And I'll pop that. Would have been good actually if I put the stitched uh, framelit all around that too. I didn't think of that, silly me. And actually, we have a large framelit that we could do that with, but it's not as big as our um, as, as our card base. So that's the only drawback. Um, we could do this and then cut it down to size, but I'll leave it as is and I think it'll look lovely. But, you know, do consider using this as a stitched panel as well and that will then all really coordinate well. I wish they had them in A6 size. That would be nice. So anyway, that is my lovely card for today. I might just stamp a little, um, a little carrot there and I'll do that in uh, Grapefruit Growth. I think it'll look cute. So I'll just yeah, stamp a little carrot right on the edge there. And I think that finishes the card. And I'll just do one more up here. Yeah, I just thought of that the last minute. <laughs> so anyway, hope you like that little detail with the carrot. 
and I hope you love this little bundle. It is so cute. Highly recommend it. Cute for Easter cards and also just cute all round. You can use this for birthdays. It's got a hat, it's got some presents and a little bow tie. Just gorgeous. And it's like got like a little hopping kind of a you know a little doodle there. And then um, the Fable Friends is cute too. As you're aware, I'm a really big fan of this stamp set and I love the greeting and I love the font. And it looks fantastic on this card. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions or would like to purchase anything you've seen here today, minus the little blending brushes, um, you may contact me through my online store at pebblyrose.stampinup.net. You can have a chat with me or you can just order straight from my store and I would appreciate your business because this will keep the content going for this channel. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.